don't worry. Nibbler didn't have any kind of accident, and nobody hurt him. He was born, well, hatched this way. And we think he's got some type of skull deformity, so he has no eyes at all, and then he has that short upper beak. His feathers are actually mostly normal. He's a Sebastopol, and they just have really fancy-looking feathers. Despite his beak, he usually preens relatively well, especially on his chest. He has one spot right on his shoulder there that usually gets a little bit dirty, and it typically washes off pretty well in his pool. He uses a scooping motion to eat his crumbles, and still likes to nibble at other things sometimes, too. I have a bit of a criteria when it comes to evaluating quality of life based on rehab and zoological experience. And not everyone will necessarily agree with me and that's okay. But essentially, it's less about form and more about function. Some deformities can look pretty grotesque, but function completely normally. So in Nibbler's example, the primary functional concern is breathing. He's kind of like the pug of geese, but even when he's more active, you don't hear any type of obstruction to his breathing. The other primary concern is eating and drinking. Not only does he eat and drink, but he also has a much better level of autonomy than you might imagine, which brings me to my next main concern with quality of life. Functional day-to-day -day living. Can and does he navigate his enclosure? In Nibbler's case, he can actually find his food and water on his own by broadcasting about to get his bearings, though it can get his beak a bit dirty in the process. He can find his way to his food, his water, his pool, and he also does another important consideration for birds, preening. Preening is an important indication if a bird is happy and healthy. He can and does preen his feathers frequently. Now he's lazy preening here, but he tends to get quite animated when he's taking a bath and grooming. Overall, we regularly evaluate him based on these criteria to ensure he's still living comfortably. post videos of Nibbler too frequently just because they do tend to be a little bit of a target for trolls and mean comments. We did raise him with two other geese but they picked on him so we ended up rehoming them and he lives with these senior ladies now. They're old lady chickens. He is blind but he actually gets around relatively well. <laughs> First thing he does in the morning is come right out and go swim in his turtle pool. We've got muddled raspberries, strawberries, and blueberries in chilled water. I really thought this one might work. How about some blueberry? Okay, I'm officially making this a contest. If you can find something Nibbler likes, because he can eat, he just doesn't like anything because he's incredibly picky.
<laughs> if you can find something he's interested in. I don't know, you get a feather or something? I don't know. Take a pick. What's your suggestions?